excuse me, you're not dancing on the tables. You're not your mother. I certainly hope not. <laughs> yeah. That is pure chaos. I love it. Where are we going? I'm going to do the tree real okay, quick. OK, OK, OK. OK, let's go. Come on. I come just on, need on. one quick. good shot. It's actually going better than I thought. It actually is going way better than I thought. Hey. Welcome. I love this. Black salmon. Oh, really? It's been those salmon? Yep. That's so weird and creepy. <laughs> I love it. This hot dog is so good, no? So how does this become really sour? They put it in brine with a lot of garlic. Yeah, these are my favorite. Which one are yours? Same one. Like... Did you try ginger ale with this? Really? It's good, yeah. <laughs> I drink this in a champagne glass and pretend it's champagne. There you go. <laughs> Look at all of these wonderful gifts. It's like Christmas. Wait, I'm so out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously, Emma, I know like you're just joining us, but like when you get these gifts, nothing is free. I actually majored in biology. I wanted to be a pediatrician, but I always loved fashion. So I started my first internship at Alberta Ferretti. I love myself some Jimmy Choo. <gasps> love! Look at these! Ooh. I did that internship, and then after that, I was like, hmm, I'm gonna work for myself. Da -da -da. Oh Are my you god. Kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is a bodega run. Got it. Stop. Yeah. I'm gonna be in the bodega with these. I learned how to code, so I got my own website, and I started blogging. And I started with just my daughter, and I was like, I'm gonna do children's fashion, and kind of got into the space with mommy and me. Nine months later, BuzzFeed did an article, and it went viral, and that's kind of like how I got to where I am. Oh my god, it's monogram. Put my name on it. What? A Versace robe. This is the most extra thing I've ever oh, seen in my bitches, life. I am extra, excuse me. <laughs> Do you know my name? Let me turn around and show you. What's my name? Over the years, obviously, it evolved. I have an accountant. I have an attorney. I have a brand manager. I have an editor. So we showcase how to get the most out of your complexion routine using four core Bobbi Brown products. I have people who pull looks all the time to help me put things together. I pay everyone on payroll. I offer in health insurance. There are certain things that I don't think people realize, like this is very much so a real job. As you can see, I've taken a dent to this, but let's start out by using this. Brands usually come to me because they already are familiar with my content. In exchange, you do deliverables. These can be anything from reels to Instagram photos to TikToks to full-on YouTube videos. And then I'm like. So this weekend, all I need to do is VS. Correct. Static and story. And what are the stories? You can do either experience your love story, date night. So I'm getting dressed for date night? So or this is what I'm dressed. wearing for, I'm wearing lingerie for date night, basically. Yeah, how you spin it into an outfit, basically. Oh, but I am spinning it into the outfit. It's not just like, hey, I'm a hoe. I mean, is that your date night look? I'm gonna be a hoe tonight. Here's the teaser? Yeah. Here's my tits. I'm wearing Victoria's <laughs> Secret. <laughs> swipe up. <laughs> Don't forget to swipe up. <laughs> Americano extra shot, and then do you have oat milk? Yes. Okay, awesome. Sure. Thank you. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Thanks for coming downtown. Oh my god. I don't usually look this like done up. I had an yes. event. Wow. Jessel and I are not in a place where like we're going for coffee. So clearly, she wants to talk to me about something. Um, I ordered a coffee. I'm sorry. I'm like so tired. No, it's fine. I'm going to order <laughs> That's one. That's like, too. OK, good. Maybe Jessel realizes she was annoying AF in the Hamptons. And she's coming to me to say, sorry for being such a pain in the ass at your house. Hopefully. You look great. Thank you. Are you coming up Thursday, by the way? Yeah. You are? Yeah, I think okay, so. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, I'm It'll like trying to like get everything organized right now. It's like. So are you having it like catered and stuff? <laughs> yeah. It's Americana, right? Yes. Yeah, Americana with an extra shot and oat milk. Ooh. It's my cocktail. Can I have a cappuccino? Sure. Regular milk? Yeah, thank you. Yep. Mm. Have you ever been here? This is like my local spot. It's gorgeous. I come all the time. A couple of my friends are moving to Tribeca. I know this neighborhood is like really up and coming. It's not, it's, it's, 
it's there. Is it there? Oh, oh yeah. I mean, I feel like it still needs, like, the, the restaurant. I mean, you know, is it there? I feel like there's still a lot of potential. Potential? It's like the most expensive zip code. Not that I'm saying that for me. It's just like that's, it's already there. I am at a loss for words. As a real estate person, this is the most ridiculous comment I've ever heard in my entire life. As a New Yorker, that just doesn't go. Like, that doesn't connect for me. What this tells me is that you know absolutely nothing about New York City, and you just got here yesterday. Anyway, how was Friendsgiving for you? I thought it was nice. Yeah, I thought so it was I did, fun. like, an amazing job. So I did a great job. I wanted to, like, grab a coffee with you, because I felt like... Yeah, I didn't understand were... what this was about. <laughs> Look, I walked in. And I sort of came up to you, and I was, I didn't know about your grandmother, first of all. I'm so sorry. Mwah, how are you? How was the memorial? It was sad. I didn't know, so yeah. um, that's, uh, that's really unfortunate. I hope that today went well, though. Yeah, it was fine. Sigh. Just felt like you were not your usual one self. I wanted to make sure everything was good, you know? I mean, yeah, everything's fine. I, to be honest with you, feel like we're just very different people. Like, I don't really understand the way sometimes you are. It almost makes me uncomfortable.